In this episode, we jump off a super high waterfall and find a whole grilled pig. My wife and I are on a motorcycle trip through Mexico, Central, and South America exploring culture and food. So bring an appetite for adventure because we're hungry riders. So we made it to Ecuador, across the border, no big deal once again. Just took some time filling out paperwork by hand and we headed off for some more awesome mountain roads. Yeah, the roads throughout Ecuador, I mean, it seems like we say this a lot, they were really awesome. Uh, well, mountain roads, twisty. Yes, yeah, I just think oh, it can't keep getting better. We saw, some, we saw had some really good ones in Mexico. You know, Colombia was really good. Um, but yeah, these ones, you know, just really high mountains, great vistas, perfect uh, pavement. Um, we were more of a sport bike rider. We had our <laughs> choice, and these were the perfect roads for that type of riding. We made it into Ibarra as our first city uh, into Ecuador, and it's not too far from the border. But um, you know, it was still fairly similar to Colombia at that point, um, as far as like you know, the food was similar. The, feel of the city, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was, it was quite nice. We took off the next day and we're just making our way through Ecuador. We weren't planning to spend a whole lot of time. There's a few highlights that we wanted to see. We went into Quito a little bit and like we drove around for probably two hours looking for a hotel with both Wi-Fi and parking. Nobody had both. Yeah, so Plenty we... Plenty had one or the other, but because the, the downtown is so crowded, it's kind of like old, San Francisco. It's, we went to Old Town too, which is usually a mistake. Yeah. But it's not too motorcycle friendly. No. Or so we just kept technology going. Technology friendly. We went another, time. it was still like, still early afternoon, so we had time to keep going and find another town. And but we, we stopped for lunch and uh, the food is, again, very similar to the other meal we, we showed you in Colombia, where it's like a stewed chicken with some potatoes and rice and uh, kind of a broth. And that was basically the standard meal uh, everywhere, everywhere uh, all across Ecuador and in many parts of Colombia. Yep. So we're here in Ecuador having lunch and they give you a starter as they do in most countries. In the US they give you bread, in Mexico they give you chips and salsa. Here they give you popcorn. This isn't the first time we've seen it either. So this isn't just this restaurant. But at this lunch spot we were still kind of hungry after eating that so we ordered another entree. Just a turkey soup. Like, turkey it soup. sounded good. And they gave us this mass, like, I think they were just joking with this. Like a, I don't know. Like a whole turkey breast in my soup. It was giant. Yeah. Like that would have been, you know, I don't think I could have finished that even if I hadn't had the other. Yeah. But it was, it was good. First. They didn't want us to go away hungry. So that's, that's <laughs> Ecuador for you. So we heard about this town called Banos that a lot of other stall rep people had gone through on their way through Ecuador. Most, most of them are ahead of us at this point. And getting there, it was a great ride. You know, you're basically going downhill. Um, towards the volcano, it's an active volcano. It erupted shortly after we left there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, just kind of town nestled between uh, giant volcano in mountain valley, techniques. Kind of, yeah, in the yeah. valley, and with a river going through it. Yeah. And uh, it's got hot springs, and it's got a lot of uh, eco-tourism type of sports. It was, it was a pretty touristy town, but not in a bad way. Like, that's where the locals go Yeah, people that leave, that leave in uh, Quito, they're gonna go there for the weekend and, and hang out. And that's kind of the towns that we've found that we've really enjoyed yeah. the most on this so, kind of trip. Yeah, so it had the infrastructure, which was really good, but then it also had that still local flavor at the same time. And the hotel that we had found in Banos was probably the best deal of our entire trip so far. Yeah, seven bucks per person for, so it's 14 bucks a night for an entire apartment. So Essentially. Yeah, and yeah. It, it was a two bedroom thing, but like no one else was staying in the other bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen. Right. So it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. And we signed up for something called canyoning there. Which we didn't really know what it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, like, but it that's some, interesting. And that's something we haven't done yet, so we got to check it off the list. And uh, what canyoning is, is essentially uh, dangling off of a rope as you go down a waterfall. Well, so uh, first, yeah, they put you in these suits so that your butt is supported and then you can hold on to the rope as you kind of and rappel it, backwards. And it's kind of cold there, even though we just crossed the equator, too. Yeah. Um, you know, it's we're up in the mountains, so it's a lot. It's, it's pretty cold, so it's not tropical weather, swimsuit weather, really. So it was basically kind of a dry suit that you could wear to, to right. stay warm enough. Right. Yeah. So we rappelled down a waterfall, uh, waterfall once and then twice. We went down. You uh, get the we went, went down four times until we got to the big daddy. The big one. And uh, this one is 45 meters long, so that's like 120 Tall. feet. Right. Yeah. And yeah. that one wasn't so much repelling as just dangling, just, like, falling. Throw, throw you off a cliff. Kind of. Yeah. Or slowly. Yeah. It was, with, it was with control. It was scary, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. That was definitely the highest waterfall <laughs> we jumped off on. Yeah, there's also hot springs in Banos, which is really what it's known for. We went and checked that That's out one of the days. Right. And 
you know, it's kind of like a murky water thing. I don't know if that's because of the natural spring situation. Yeah, well, they had several different pools. One was hot, medium, cold. The cold one was too cold. I, I tried it a little bit. But and then got out very quickly. That's true. <laughs> we liked the medium one the best. That's where all the people were, too. And then as we, before we left Banos, we wanted to ride up the volcano because we have dirt able bikes. Yeah, we take off the luggage. It's great. That's what we had planned. And uh, the night before, you get some food poisoning. And so what I've also learned from this trip is don't eat the, at the gringo restaurants. The only That's places we've gotten sick are at the places where the uh, foreigners eat. Yeah. The places where the locals eat, obviously, no problem. I don't know. Makes sense. It was, it was, think about it. So we left Banos behind. We needed to make it towards Peru. And uh, the roads, again, were just really awesome. What we enjoyed most about um, Ecuador the was the roads. Was the roads. Like, it was, the it was gas. Yeah, yeah, gas, the buck fifty a gallon. How could you just ride around forever? But yeah, the roads, I mean, we sound like broken record here, but they really were really fun. Yeah, the other motorcycle people that we met on the road, really friendly. Um, you know, there was a few bigger bikes there again, but um, yeah, it is a very motorcycle friendly country. Definitely. And also, they have some very interesting roadside so we're going down the road uh, near Cuenca in Ecuador, and we've seen a lot of these roasted pork on the side of the road, and we stopped to try some. Uh, this is a platito, so I think it's just a little small plate of mix of everything. Yeah. How can you go wrong with roasted pork? So after this, we head to Peru, and that's it for this episode. Um, the next episode, we climb the Peruvian Andes and ride some serious mud. Yeah, but for those of you who are following our trip in real time, we are currently, as you can see, on a cruise ship headed up to New York City, where we are going to buy different bikes and ride, ride across west, the country back and to California. We're open to suggestions on places to see and food to eat. Uh, we're planning on continuing filming for that. Right. So please tweet us at Hungry Riders. Yep. Twitter.com/slash Hungry Riders, and of course our whole website is at HungryRiders.com. See you next time.